welcome to Linda's Corner. My name is Linda Bjork. Trying to raise happy, healthy, resilient children is challenging in our busy world. There is one simple tool that is often overlooked that can make a world of difference in your family. That tool is having dinner together as a family. In today's podcast, I'm going to share why eating together as a family matters. Scientific research shows the following benefits from regularly sharing meals together as a family. One, it promotes better mental and emotional health. Two, better physical health. Three, better developmental skills and enhanced brain development in children. Four, better academic success. Five, better behavior. And six, better family relationships. When families regularly share meals together, everyone benefits. Making family dinner time a priority from an early age can make a world of difference in the health and well-being of a child. Let's go over those six scientific reasons why eating together as a family matters one at a time. Number one, better mental and emotional health. As parents, we want our children to be mentally and emotionally healthy, but how do we know how they're doing? We observe and we listen. Family dinner gives a consistent opportunity to do both. As families regularly spend this time together, parents can observe their children's moods, behavior, and activities, which provides them with insight into the emotional well-being of their children. And research shows that more family talk occurs during mealtime than during any other activity. So if you want your children to talk to you, eating together is the most effective way to accomplish this. Family meals provide structure for the day, allowing children to feel more secure and safe, knowing what to expect. It provides a secure foundation for children to grow on. Dinner is a perfect opportunity to build self-esteem in children. When you listen to what your children have to say, they hear the message, You matter to me. I care about you, and I care about what you're doing. You are important to me. And studies show that children who eat with their parents are getting that message. They generally have higher self-esteem and a lower risk of depression and suicidal thoughts. Eating together as a family increases resilience. Mealtimes give people the opportunity to express their anxieties and concerns. In a recent study, kids who had been victims of cyberbullying bounced back more readily if they had regular family dinners. Teens who eat together regularly with their families also have a more positive view of the future compared to their peers who don't eat with their parents. They have fewer emotional and behavioral problems. They also reported a higher life satisfaction, regardless of family economics. These benefits are not just for the children. Mothers who are with their families were also found to be happier and less stressed as compared to mothers who did not. Studies have shown that having dinner together as a family leads to greater happiness for all family members. If you want your children and your family to be happy, confident, and resilient, then eat dinner together as a family. Number two, better physical health. Families that eat together tend to make better food choices. Statistically speaking, they eat more fruits and vegetables, less saturated and trans fats, fewer fried foods and sodas, have a lower glycemic lead, and eat more vitamins and other micronutrients. Children are less likely to be obese and have a much lower likelihood of developing eating disorders. They also tend to get adequate nighttime sleep and are better at limiting screen viewing time. If you want your children to be physically healthy, develop healthy eating habits, and maintain a healthy weight, eat dinner together as a family. Number three, developmental skills. Sharing dinner together with parents promotes language skills. 
Research indicates that family conversation at home is associated with brain development in children. John Gabrielli, the senior author of a research study using functional magnetic resonance imaging, says, It's almost magical how parental conversation appears to influence the biological growth of the brain. Mealtimes offer unique opportunities for children to learn as they hear longer discussions that include explanations and narratives. Children expand their vocabulary as they hear new words used in conversation. In addition to language skills, the dinner table gives children the opportunity to learn social skills from their parents. A child's world is mostly spent with peers and a few teachers. They see how other children react and solve problems. But family meal time gives them a chance to see how adults interact and cooperate as they observe how their parents negotiate, solve problems, express emotions, and treat one another with respect. If you want your children to develop great communication skills and social skills, eat dinner together as a family. Number four, academic success. Reading to young children is an obvious way to help them be adequately prepared when they begin school. What is not obvious is that studies indicate that eating dinner together as a family has been shown to be even more effective in preparing children for academic success than any other factor. In fact, regular mealtime is a more powerful predictor of high achievement scores than the amount of time spent in school or the amount of time doing homework. And this is not just for preschool and elementary years. In a study, teens who ate family meals five to seven times a week were twice as likely to get A's in school as those who ate dinner with their families fewer than two times a week. If you want your children to be successful in school, eat dinner together as a family. Number five, better behavior. Children who eat with their parents regularly are more likely to be adjusted, have good manners and communication skills. They are less likely to engage in high-risk behaviors like substance abuse, violence, school problems, eating disorders, and teen pregnancy. Teens who have infrequent family dinners, fewer than three per week, are two and a half more times likely to use marijuana, twice as likely to use alcohol, four times more likely to use tobacco, and significantly more likely to have access to prescription drugs, which they use to get high. The frequency of having family dinner also seems to affect a person's choice of friends. Those who have infrequent family meals are three times more likely to report that at least half their friends use marijuana, twice as likely to have friends who use ecstasy, and 80% more likely to have friends who abuse prescription drugs. Furthermore, teens who had more frequent family dinners were less likely to engage in sexual activity and less likely to experience depression. If you want to encourage your children to make good behavioral and life choices, then eat dinner together regularly as a family. Number six, better relationships. Relationships are strengthened with good communication, and research shows that more family talk occurs during mealtime than any other activity. Our separate daily activities and individual challenges can leave us feeling disconnected. But eating dinner together as a family allows family members to reconnect and form strong bonds with one another. Young children who eat dinner with their parents experience less stress and have a better relationship with them. Those frequent, loving, informal connections pay dividends in maintaining great relationships when the children grow to be teenagers. Some people think that teens won't want to eat with their parents and family, but the research shows that they do. In fact, in one survey, 71% of teenagers said that they consider talking, catching up, and spending time with family members as the best part of family dinners. And those teens who didn't have family dinners or have it infrequently 
report that they experience more TV watching during meals and less talk during dinner, and they're disappointed that the meals do not last long enough. One of the best ways to get a teen to enjoy family meals is to start when they're little and establish family dinner as part of their normal routine. And one of the best ways to have a great relationship with your teenager is to develop that relationship when they're younger. Teens who have frequent family meals together are more likely to report having excellent relationship with their family and their parents. They are one and a half times more likely to have an excellent relationship with their mother, twice as likely to have an excellent relationship with their father, and twice as likely to have an excellent relationship with siblings. Family meals also contribute to traditions that tie families together. Having a special food for a birthday celebration, a favorite place to eat for special occasions, maybe a cultural or ethnic food unique to the family's heritage, these become traditions that provide meaning and context to children as they grow. If you want to have better relationships with your children, then eat dinner together regularly as a family. In summary, eating together as a family, it's not just about the food. It's about the family. When families regularly share meals together, everyone benefits, the children, the parents, and even the community. Making the family table a priority from an early age can serve as a kind of vaccine against many of the harms and temptations that come to children from a hurried lifestyle. Eating dinner together as a family promotes better mental and emotional health, better physical health, better developmental skills and enhanced brain development in children, better academic success, better behavior, and better family relationships. I know we've covered a lot of information, but don't worry. All of this is written down and available on the website twogoodthings.net under the tab Linda's Corner. In fact, the name Two Good Things comes from one of our family traditions. We eat dinner together regularly as a family, and each member of the family takes turns sharing two good things about their day. This simple tradition helps us stay connected and to be aware of what's going on in our family's lives. The importance of family dinner cannot be overlooked. Today, I invite you to turn off the TV and put down the phone and enjoy a meal together with your family. Here's a simple suggestion to encourage sharing and discussion. Take turns sharing two good things about your day. It's an easy way to keep connected and strengthen your family. In closing, I'd like to share a quote from Ronald Reagan. All great change in America begins at the dinner table. See you next time on Linda's Corner.